Welcome back. It's your boy Stealth Jet back at it once again, bringing you some more gameplay. Now, I would say to those of you who have watched my recent streams, but at this point, streams is like a month and a half old. So I'll just say this instead. Remember when I used to get full night maps and it wasn't even Halloween? on stream I remember that well I am pleased happy and excited to tell you that after what seems like four if not five weeks of getting straight moonlit valley every time I go into it I mean not a single daytime map I am pleased happy and excited to tell you that in this video, it's daylight. Damn, it's been a while. It has been a while. Although times have changed, you know, the HBRT is not as powerful as it used to be. Damn, light machine guns went into the game, or more light machine guns went into the game. And the map itself has changed as well. But there is one thing that hasn't changed. You see what I'm looking at right now? You see I'm running in one direction, but my camera is focused on another direction. Now I say, okay, nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. Let me go ahead and focus on where I need to go. One thing has not changed in this game, and that, my friends, is spawn points. And spawn points have definitely not changed on this map. And I get ported. Why? But you see how I was looking in that direction? And I did that because I myself know that there's a spawn point right behind the row of three houses to the right or on the other side of this here like rock fence if, I, if you want to call it that not face but fence yeah these three houses over here to my right that I'm not going to go to yeah there's a spawn point near there so I said to myself you know let me go ahead and just focus on this house just in case he comes this way but there are some variables you gotta take into account whenever you try to pull something off like that. How much time do they spend looting? How much time do they spend looking at the map trying to figure out where to go? You gotta take into account all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But as you play the game, you'll learn. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna drop the single most important sentence in terms of learning spawn points. If you spawn there now, and you don't spawn there later, but you just spawned there a match ago, best believe somebody's there right now. Does it make any sense? I hope it does. Pretty much, if you spawn there now, but don't spawn there next match, best believe somebody's there now. And your current match, and not your previous match. That is how I learned spawn points myself. Remember when I told y'all I got pinged by a port? Or y'all seen it, rather? Where is the guy at? What is he doing? Maybe he's in the barn? Maybe he is, but... I mean, that's the entire point of me changing directions, because I got ported up there. So I said, okay, well, let me come, to, come on to the other side of the river. And now I'm here. But 
nothing important has happened. Yes, I killed him, but who was shooting him? That's why I took cover on this side of the truck and this side of his body. If I'd have been on the left side of his body, I would have been exposed more to where the bullets were coming from. So you see, I don't even run down the bridge. I run down this way. Because yes, the bridge has solid cover, like cars and shit like that, but over here... I can move around more. Think about the bigger picture, people. Now, where's his shooter at? Because he was getting shot at as he was looting the car, and now as he was running toward me. Pretty much, he got caught in a shit sandwich. Pretty much. So just in case somebody wants to ping with their port, and what I mean by port, I mean portable signal detector, in case someone to use that consumable, I'm going to put down a transmitter right there. So, one thing that the HPRT is good at is so is uh, damn scoping people out. And I know the damn crosshair inside of the HPRT scope is a little bit more cluttered, but I like it more than LD5 scope. I mean, LD6 scope. Well, they both have the same scope. You know what I'm trying to say. HPRT's crosshair is better, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. As a matter of fact, do y'all remember the old LED5's, like, crosshair? Not the scope, but the crosshair? Not, well, not the crosshair, but the iron sight. Remember that? It was, like, a point with, like, two horns facing opposite of each other. I think I got a video of me playing with it. But anyways, I missed that iron sight. I do. So I come over here, and I cross the river, and I say to myself... Well, what about the container? And I look, and it appears to be opened. And that sounded like a bugle shot. Either I'm hearing things and it's literal PTSD, or that sounded like somebody is either leaving, or that might be fireworks. But then again, if it was fireworks, they'll be still going on right now. And they stopped. So, I'm going to go ahead and talk that up as a person, but what are they shooting at? Nobody shoots at anything. So, why is there no gunfight? Honestly, I have no idea. But there's one more thing I can do. And I'm going to check this church real quick before I go down to the altar. There we go. Now, I'm going to try to use this... Never mind. Never mind. It hurts when a game says, nah, you are too slow, fam. It hurts. Anyways, so I'm running here through the valley, N not of the shadow of death, but of the, of the shadow of this house. And I'm like, okay, so where's the airdrop going to land at? Okay, good. I'm in the area. Wonderful. So if there's anybody nearby, I should be able to hear them because I'm in the house. Should. But, you know, I'm going to play the base game for what it is a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know, hit X on a couple of objects. Loot a couple of things. And now, I'm going to walk down here. Because I now know the airdrops went away. You know, advanced warning. Because the comm station was like, nah, fam. You got here too late. There we airdrop go. Airdrop incoming. Get ready. So, where's the airdrop going to land? Personally, I don't like to be in the same spot for more than about a minute or so. Unless I have a really, really good reason for doing so. So, I'm going to take the most complicated way to get into this house. And now, I'm going to play uh, musical chairs except with windows. But I just beat the game though, so hooray. Now, what's going on? No picture yet. Damn, that's crazy. So, what's going on? What's happening here? Is, is nobody moving? I mean, the barn seemed like a hot spot. 
There we go. So it's right there in front of me. Now, like I said, I'm not one to stay in one area for more than a minute unless I have something really important to do. This is what I consider to be important. So I'm not going to go right next to the airdrop. I'm going to just toss it. You know what I'm saying? And now I run. Because of that. Yeah, whenever an airdrop lands next to a car, I kind of get a little bit anxious. Kind of do. But look at that. A window is open. Yeah, I spot that. That looks like the same window that the guy that I killed jumped out of. That's what it appears to be. Because if somebody was in there right now, I would be getting shot at. I mean, it makes sense, right? And you see, the windows back here aren't open either. They aren't open. So that window has to be, and I'm going to invent a new term here, a cold window. It's like the equivalent, I mean, I don't know if you're watching any, like, you know, um, like detective movies or manhunt kind of movies. But let's say you're trying to find somebody, right? And they're in the woods. So hear me out. No spooky shit. And daylight breaks. And they come across a random campfire with a fire out. So what do you do? You walk up to the fire, light the sticks or whatever, and you feel the sticks. And if they're still warm, they're still nearby. If they're cold, they're long gone. Because you gotta put out a fire. Makes sense, right? So window. Cold window, hot window. I hope that makes sense. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass, but I hope that makes sense. So here's one thing that I'm going to do that I never, and I mean never, want y'all to do. You see what I'm looking at? Or what I did look at? The detector. So I'm going to use it, right? But I'm not going to take the window. Because that will be literally the most stupid thing you can do on this map. Instead, come into the house. Come into the house, loot one thing, maybe two, if you're feeling a little bit lucky, and come up here. Open the window, jump onto the roof, then climb onto the main roof, but make sure you're not being watched. You can try to make sure, but if you get shot at, you get shot at. Then use the detector. Don't climb the ladder. That's death. So, I come back into the window. Go back into the house. Now. Oh. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and chalk that up as a person. And not a transmitter. Because y'all do remember those bugle shots that we heard from earlier, right? I mean, 2 plus 2 does equal 4. Unless you argue it, argue it to enter or to equal 5. But... I'm not worried about that. I'm just happy that I finally went onto Grontham Valley, broke the curse, seen daylight, and left out of there alive. And to those of you that don't know, Valley is my favorite map because it is so pretty and so balanced, but there's kind of no point in going onto Valley. In my opinion, the devs should balance the game where each map has a significant a uh, competitive advantage in terms of the type of resource you want. But hey, that's just me. I'm not a dev, and the game is going slowly downhill anyways. So, we'll see where this goes. Anyways, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video, and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.